LM Studio released a very exciting update. Uh, I'll show you in a moment what it does, but pretty much uh, what you can do with point zero dot three dot six version is that now it supports new vision input models in the sense that you can upload any image, chat with the image and ask more details about it. So the first thing you have to do is go to lmstudio.ai, download for your uh, OS and install it. Once you're done installing it, open it. It should look something like this without the folders. So the first thing you'll have to go do is like go click on discover and then search for Quen 2 vl So I'll copy this, I'll go here. Uh, so I'll show you once again. So once you install and open this on your system, click on discover. Uh, you will have a ton of other models picked by LM Studio. So most of these are for text uh, chat. So this is for vision chat. So paste Quen 2 vl here. Now, if you're Mission is powerful enough. Here it will show you uh, that your vision, your model, this model is compatible. So mine is on an M series match. So I'm able to run all these models locally without any internet connection. So let me download this one. The first one is 7B. You have uh, 72B, which here, if you see, it's say, slightly too large for my mission. So LM Studio is smart enough to let you know which one you can run, which one you cannot. So based on this, uh, 2B is like quite weak as per my testing. So my machine is capable of running the 7B one. So download this. Uh, you'll see the download button here, something like this one here, since I have already downloaded this one. Uh, once you download, close this one. And on top of here, open a new chat. And on the top here, select the model, the vision model. Click on this one. Now, I already have a screenshot somewhere here. Yes. So this screenshot, pretty much what it does is it's just a simple customer table with country, city, postal code and all. So now let's see. Uh, okay, so can I see this one here? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, which customer is in Sweden? One thing before that is uh, you see this icon here, click on this one, at least in my testing, I found that increase your temperature. Temperature means creativity and the way it processes your data. So at the default one, I wasn't getting accurate uh, results, but here, let's see, which customer is in Sweden? I hope it gives me this name, which customer is in Sweden? So yeah, it gives me all the details, like it's ID number five and Berglund's, uh, this is the name name of the company. Is that the name of the company? Yeah, it's sort of getting a bit mixed up here. Contact name is Christina Berglund, contact person, yeah. Uh, there's some minor issues with this one I've seen so far. Still, nevertheless, it's still a really good one if you want to scan your bills, if you want to do something. Uh, some chat with any of the images that you have. This is a really good one. Right now, I would say just play around with this. This is not super accurate yet, but in the in the coming days with better newer models, it's going to be really good. So let me run, try one more run. How many customers do I have from Mexico? Like, let's try this one. How many customers do I have from Mexico? Let's see. Do you also notice like how fast it is? Uh, one customer, it should have been two. In my previous testing, it did give me two. Let me increase the temperature and ask it again. Uh, all right, how many customers do I have from Mexico? Let's say, okay, again, it's wrong. So see, this is what I was telling about. Sometimes like in, in one of my testing, like it, it gave really good good answers. What I'm going to do is like I'll open a new chat. So let me open the new chat. Uh, I've, I'm going to increase the temperature. Let's say somewhere around like 0.7. I'm going to feed the same image again. Uh, how many customers are there from Mexico? 
Let's see. Uh, show me the list of customers from Mexico. Yeah, see, now it got right. Uh, I think there was some issue with the way I was asking it questions. So it's uh, Anna and Antonio from Mexico, customer ID two and three. If you check the image, it's two and three. Like I said, you still have to play uh, with temperature, but for basic ones, I'm guessing if this is going to be more accurate and we'll have like much, much more models in the upcoming days. But if you want something that you want to process locally, you don't want to for it to go on the internet, like your health data or your bills or whatever, this is a really good uh, model to start playing with and uh, exciting days ahead.